Well, good morning. Yes, it is Thursday morning and we are speaking about the journey. And today we're going to talk about changing lines, changing lanes. Uh, so this is exactly what is going to happen on, on Sunday as I minister my last message as the senior pastor of the Open Door West Point Church. By doing this, changing lanes, I'm changing lanes. God is taking me on a different road than what I have been doing over these 20 odd years here at the open door. But the question is this, in what lane of life do you find yourself in? A lane of deception or surrender? <laughs> now remember this, uh, Jacob's name means deceiver. He had a name change when he wrestled with God and he became Israel. Now, again, we need that name change. Once we surrender our lives to God, we then become Christian, which means Christ-like, taking on the nature of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the longer Jacob remained in the lane of deception, fear of meeting his brother grew stronger in his life. You see, the problem with many is because there are so many baggages within our lives, we fear in meeting God one day. But once we are willing to surrender our, our lives totally to God, everything, and again I say this, every part of my life needs to be surrendered to God. I do that each morning. Each morning as I wake up and I have my quiet time, I'm saying, God, I need to surrender this day to you. The only one that knows this day, the outcome of this day is you. And so I surrender my life. Life to you. Yes, no matter what battles I might face, no matter, no matter what trials or tribulations I might go through, or no matter what blessings I encounter, because I want to encounter blessings during my day, I would know and recognize those blessings that come from you. Yes, the battles that I face, I know this is what the enemy is trying to destroy in my life, and I have to surrender those battles over to you, because I know that my strength can only be found in you and in you alone. Now, once Jacob was pinned down on the wrestling mat, mat he surrendered his all to God. That is where he came. He said, God, uh, come on, I need you to bless me. Yes, the sun is beginning to rise already and, and I'm fighting with you and I spent the entire night fighting with you. I'm wrestling with you, but I need to be that changed man. I need to bring to my brother, uh, uh, not fear and anxiety in my life, but I need to meet him and, and I want to meet him with, with blessings. And these are the blessings that I have that have come solely from you. You see, in Jacob's struggle, it was exhausting with no end in sight, but it turned out to be God's gracious gift. It required him to seek refuge in God and not in his abilities. Notice that is where his wrestling match was. And so he had to learn how to surrender. And he did. As he surrendered, God changed not only his life, but the life of his brother Esau. Now, Jacob was returning with more wealth than any man could desire, but he was returning on his gifting. Notice his gifting, not God's gifting. On his abilities, his strength, his wisdom that he obtained through deception and he had to surrender that to God. And of course, we know he's wrestling with God. God was revealing to Jacob that it was all he's doing. His hand over to him needed to be a work of grace, a work that he would realize that what he obtained was not what he was able to do, but what God was doing on his behalf. Once he recognized that, he was able to surrender his all to God. If you are in any form of struggle, a battle that is not natural at this time, then this is what I'm asking you to do. Surrender to God. Come on. You don't have to fight that battle on your own. You don't have to go through that struggle that you are struggling with on your own. Why not give it over to God? Listen to what James 4 verse 7 says. It says, so humble yourself before God. Notice what you have to do. You have to learn how to humble. Jacob had to humble himself. Remember, he was deceiver and he had to, to relinquish that deception that he carried with him over to God and said, God, yes, I might have uh, uh, got all that I got in life through deception, but now I want to surrender that over to you. And once he did, he had a name change. Notice this. Notice this. 
this, what it says. If you humble yourself before God, James is saying this, he says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. I believe it's time for you to resist the devil. So whatever you're struggling with at this point of time, resist the devil, surrender your life to God, and you know what will happen? The enemy will flee from you. So come on, surrender your life to God today. Thank you.